Consumers should start getting some relief when it comes to food prices. Okay, look at the numbers. According to the latest report from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, which pulls data from 38 industrialized countries, global consumer food prices actually came in at 5.3% in price rises in February. That's down significantly from the 16.2% in November of 2022. Of course, keep in mind, back then in November, February of 2022, prices shot up when Russia invaded Ukraine, which is known as the world's breadbasket. Now, here in the U.S., food prices in March rose 2.2% year over year. That is the lowest rate since May of 2021 and down dramatically from its August 2022 high of 11.4%. So why are consumers still getting hit hard when they eat out? Let's bring in major food group chef and co-owner Mario Carbone. Major food group has 45 restaurant brands across three continents. Okay, Mario, the March inflation report showed the dining out category that was way higher. It soared about 4.2 percent yep. year over year. Why? Explain that when overall food inflation has slowed down markedly. Yeah, I think, listen, I think dining out has become uh, a form of entertainment. It's an outlet. It's a way to break away from whatever madness is happening in the world right now. And I think people are willing to pay for that moment, for that, for that experience, to, to just have, a, have that outlet. And I think food is one of those areas that People are willing to spend their money, their hard-earned money, despite inflation, even though we're getting somewhat encouraging numbers these days. Um, it's a category, and certainly for us, as we feel it in the luxury sector of that, of that category, um, it's somewhat elastic in that sense. I know you guys like the higher prices. They help your margin, certainly. But how do you look clientele in the eye and say, I'm still keeping prices this high compared to 2022? I'm, I'm assuming you really haven't lowered prices. No. But this is what I'm saying. You know, we just got the Federal Reserve's Beige Book, which, uh, you know, checks out 12 different districts across the U.S. And they marked out price sensitivity among consumers. Are you seeing any slowdown in sales at the moment or the numbers of people who come in? Because now they're saying, wait a minute, why am I still paying so much? We haven't. And to be honest with you, sales haven't really been better than, than they are today. Um, I think for us, our clientele realizes that we're uncompromising with what we're going to buy. So in a moment where it's difficult, where inflation's high and prices are expensive, we're not going to go out there and start shopping for an inferior product to try to keep the previous price where it was. We're going to continue to stay steadfast with buying the very, very best ingredients that our customers have come to know. And unfortunately, it's going to get, it's going to get passed along, right? I mean, things are getting expensive. But our customers have come to know and trust us. They know what they're going to get. And the last thing I think that they're going to want from us is to start compromising on what we're buying. Tell me about customers in Hong Kong, Paris, Riyadh. You have restaurants in all those areas. Mm -hmm. You seeing any differential between what people are willing to spend? I think. Like, what's the best? How about that? The best market right now? Mm -hmm. Uh, certainly, South Florida is booming for us. Las Vegas, yet again, booming. New York's a record numbers. Um, and then as we start to look towards internationally, we're, you know, we're bullish in, in London again. Um, and we're opening a couple of places in London next year. And then as we go far out east, uh, Hong Kong is, has, is coming out of a slumber, a multi-year slumber. Really? Um, that is starting to see the beginnings of the breaks there. Uh, they've had they've had a myriad of challenges throughout the last three to five years, and, and we're starting to see the beginnings now of, of a, some, some sun shining over there. You know, you're not just in the restaurant business where I would imagine you buy lots of input, uh, you know, everything, fruits, vegetables, yeah. beef, pork, uh, in, in big, big uh, numbers here, but you are also in food retail. Mm -hmm. You've got the Carbone sauces now. Yep. Tell me how that business is doing. And that's where you have to start to look at the cost of glass, yeah. steel, labor. Absolutely. Uh, the business is doing incredibly. Uh, we're, we're doubling year over year right now. Um, we're on record pace for our category. Um, to your point, we have to watch these margins to the penny. Um, so that we don't price ourselves out of our category. Well, well, can I just say, somebody told me that one of those jars, I don't know which one, is $34? No. No way, right? No, no way. The spicy uh, rigatoni in New York City, Carbone. No, our, we retail around 11 or $12 in New York.
I see. Okay, the actual entree, I am told. The dish at the restaurant. Actual Correct. entree. Yes. I'm no. sorry. I, I would not be doing very well if that was $34. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's even more than no, my no, no. Okay. All right, so your biggest challenge going forward, is it paying your workers higher wages? Are they demanding that? Uh, no, they should have that. They mm -hmm. should absolutely have that. Um, we, we're, we're doing well, and that absolutely needs to be passed down to our people. That's how we keep and uh, that's how we retain talent, and that's how we get new mm -hmm. talent. Um, so retention is number one, making sure we don't lose our people, um, and then beginning to find ways in which we can diversify what hospitality means. Mm -hmm. Like it means hotels, it means branded residences, it means consumer packaged goods. Um, that's where we're going to start to see really interesting businesses laterally for us. Good luck to you. Thank you. You started with one restaurant in Little Italy. <laughs> Look at you now, all Look over the world. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Mario Carbone.